This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is a 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Wednesday, May the 7th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Scrap the value added tax or VAT. That recommendation today from the central bank governor, Dr. Delisle Worrell, who is suggesting that it be replaced by a simple sales tax. He told a quarterly media conference today that VAT is not appropriate for a tourism-dependent state like Barbados, which does not produce its own raw material. It has absolutely uh, no advantages for us, and it is a complicated tax to operate. It's a tax which, if you're applying it to services, uh, you know, it creates all kinds of controversy, and what you exempt and what you don't exempt, and so on. It is a mess. And I sincerely hope that the people who, uh, as I said, the minister is going to be uh, announcing uh, fund assistance uh, for a review of the tax system. And when that happens, I will be sure to share my views on that. Uh, the VAT was introduced in 1997 as a temporary measure but was extended indefinitely by the Friend of Stewart administration, which also increased it from 15% to 17.5%. Meantime, the bank, bank governor is saying that government did not need to borrow $300 million from the international market last year. He is insisting that the country had sufficient international reserves. We have been forced to borrow simply because people are nervous. Right? Because we are not using the money. You know, the basis that I keep reminding you uh, for sustainability in this economy is that your earnings are what you use. You don't use your reserves. You use your reserves, they get wrapped up. You use your earnings. You match your spending to your earnings. It's your earnings you have to worry about. So forget about all this bar. Let's start talking about earnings. Guilty and sent packing from the Barbados Defense Force. After three days of hearings, soldier Timothy Bancroft was in, dismissed with immediate effect today for escaping custody on November 28th last year. Bancroft, who served five years in the force, was also severely reprimanded for disobeying orders and fined 56 days pay for theft by a five-member court-martial panel. Yesterday, he pleaded guilty to escaping custody and disobeying standing orders. A dramatic decline in deaths from pregnancy-related causes in Barbados. A United Nations report says the maternal mortality ratio has dropped 40% or more since 1990. But Barbados is not alone. The report found significant declines in Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Bolivia, Brazil, Guatemala, and several other Latin American countries. At the same time, the report found that no regional state is on track to meet the Millennium Development Goals of reducing maternal mortality by 75% by 2015. This is regional and international news after this short break. Because she deserves it. Make her Mother's Day. Send us a photo and a message telling the world why your mother is simply the best at love at barbadostoday.bb. Enter now for your chance to win lunch for two at the Crane Hotel and other prizes. The deadline is May 6. Mom deserves it. All entries will be published. Over now to Jamaica, where a member of parliament is calling for the repeal of anti-abortion laws. Dayton Campbell, a medical doctor, says he is not advocating abortion as a contraceptive measure. However, he is insisting that the law represents a misuse of government power and takes away the right of a woman to decide. The MP also chastised religious conservatives for frustrating decades of efforts to settle the abortion debate. Internationally now, the United Kingdom is sending a team of experts to Nigeria 
to help find more than 200 schoolgirls kidnapped three weeks ago. Prime Minister David Cameron condemned the abduction, saying the actions of the Boko Haram militants is pure evil. There are extreme Islamists around our world who are against education, against progress, against equality, and we must fight them and take them on wherever they are. Yeah. Mr. Ed Miliband. Yeah. That's the 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 a.m. Until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun power.